It's Monday morning and happening today, a big thing in a gruesome case. We're going to expect to hear autopsy results for LaShawn Thompson. He's the man whose family says he was eaten alive by bed bugs inside the Fulton County Jail. You probably remember him there. Atlanta News First, Rebecca Schramm joining us live from the state capitol. And Rebecca, that's where the family is going to be holding a news conference later today. Yeah, that's right, Brooks. And civil rights attorney Ben Crump will join the family here at the Capitol to announce the results of that autopsy. Let's refresh your memory on this case that made national headlines. 35 year old LaShawn Thompson had been in the Fulton County Jail for about three months. He struggled with mental health issues and was being housed in the psychiatric wing. He was found dead in his cell last fall. We believe his family will re release the results of the independent autopsy that Crump says former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick offered to pay for. In a news release ahead of today's press conference, Crump said these autopsy findings confirm that Thompson was malnourished, dehydrated, and that his body was infested inside and out with insects. After Thompson's death, the sheriff forced out three top jailers, and three days later, the Fulton County Board of Commissioners approved $5.3 million to further address inmate safety and security, though the sheriff has asked for a whole new jail to be built. This was Ben Crump a few weeks ago during a news conference at the jail. This isn't just about LaShawn Thompson. This is about every citizen in Fulton County, Georgia. God forbid you get arrested and they put you in this cell with the bed bugs and the lice and the roach infestation. And today's news conference is scheduled for 1130 this morning here at the Capitol. We will let you know what more we learn regarding the autopsy they're going to release. Live at the state capitol in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First. Rebecca, thanks for.